Hi there, I'm Richie and welcome to my room. And if you're a regular, welcome back. Now, a few days ago, uh, we reviewed Facebook Home, the new app from Facebook that pretty much transforms uh, your phone into a Facebook phone. And a lot of the discussion in the comments area of the segment revolved around not really the features of Facebook Home, but more its ability or lack thereof as an app launcher. Now, for example, Crack is Good said uh, when, he, when he heard about it, he thought it'd be a major overhaul. Instead, it's just a launcher. Diego Bello said, worst launcher ever. And uh, Dennis Biersack said, looks interesting, but can we use a third party launcher to integrate with it? So it got me thinking, what other launchers are there right now? We know of obviously TouchWiz on the Galaxy. Nova is a very popular one as well. What else is there? Turns out one has just been released a few days ago. What if I told you you could customize your phone and the launching ability of certain apps just with a spoken word? We're gonna try it out now. It's called everything.me. And we're going to go over to, you guessed it, the bench. Okay, so this is everything me. It's still in beta release right now. But this is the screens that you are presented with when you first install it. Actually groups your apps uh, and its own web apps uh, into what it calls smart folders automatically. Uh, for example, games, there you can see above the line are games that you've installed. Below that line are web apps. Uh, that it's aggregated and collected. So for example, here's Blackjack, uh, and this is a HTML5 uh, web app, uh, which is also touch sensitive. So uh, it looks and feels uh, like it's actually locally stored on your uh, smartphone. Uh, we can see here grouping of uh, social apps, Twitter, Facebook, Google. They've actually been replicated as web apps as well, and I'm sure that'll be something they look at you know, so they don't replicate existing apps that live locally on your phone. Uh, the next thing is uh, utilities. So you can, again, see that the background changes. Um, it groups all of your apps and then uh, gives you an option to look at other utilities as well. Now, this is the cool stuff, though. So let's just press the microphone and, and say Game of Thrones. Okay, so what it does now is apply uh, the search term as a filter for both your local apps and the web apps. But what it's also done is found, for example, the official website. As you can see, uh, right right away, you can see that the uh, yep HBO uh, Game of Thrones website is there in the uh, mobile format. Now, if we go to Wikipedia, uh, we're able to see uh, Game of Thrones there as well. So you can uh, you know, read using either your local Wikipedia or the uh, mobile Wikipedia through the web app. And even TV Guide listings, which shows the uh, scheduled screenings uh, for the current uh, Game of Thrones series. And not only does it uh, use a filter for all your local and web apps, but also shows you a picture uh, related to your search as well. So let's try another one. Dinosaur fossil. Okay, so this time it's brought up the uh, local eBay app. It's changed the uh, picture in the background to someone digging up a fossil. Uh, when we press the eBay app, it comes up with the, the dinosaur fossil filter. You can obviously refine uh, once you're in the app. Uh, let's try, uh, yep, the YouTube web app. If we just press that, automatically we've got a filter there showing us uh, you know, uh, results relating to dinosaurs. Let's try one more uh, term. Metallica. Okay, so this time it's brought up Spotify and YouTube. I've got Spotify on my uh, phone and it's come up with the band, the albums and the tracks. So it's quite uh, quite deeply integrated into your apps. You can see the background's changed as well to, uh, to the band members. Uh, the other thing about this launcher is that it retains uh, your ability to have widgets. As you can see there, Google Now, I've got a Spotify widget and the light widget as well. Oh, Michael, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. And also on the side, we can also bring across the multi-window functions, which is part of TouchWiz. So none of that is touched, so to speak. Uh, the other area that they obviously have thought about is uh, integration of things like the stylus on the Note 2. So if we go to a uh, web app, like the Time Magazine web app, and we use the stylus uh, to touch the search uh, button, the uh, scratch pad underneath will actually come up for you to be able to enter terms within there using the stylus. So this is a really cool function and again uh, enhances the use of the uh, web apps. Now the last thing I'm going to show you is how easy it is 
to be able to create a, a brand new uh, smart folder. So we just go into all apps, uh, we press uh, settings, and we go into add smart folders. And you can see there, they have got uh, a massive list of potential folders that you can add already. So uh, let's use the internet. We simply tick that, uh, we say done, uh, we press the home button, and automatically a new folder uh, called internet is there. We open that up, there's some local apps, and bang, get a new background, and the web apps appear underneath as well. Uh, so it's just as easy as that. As you can see, as we scroll up, more web apps load up as well. So it's part search tool uh, and it's part launcher. In fact, it's probably the two melded into one. And for a beta version, I've got to say it's a, it's a pretty solid offering. So that's everything.me. It's a launcher that doesn't really interfere with the underlying OS. So you can still use TouchWiz for the important things like multi-window, uh, widgets, and of course, uh, for the Note 2, the stylus. Now, the interesting thing about everything.me is that it really harnesses the power of HTML5 and packages up these web apps to make them look as if they're actually apps that live on your phone. And if that sounds a little bit like an OS, you'd be right. It's actually being integrated as a partner in the latest mobile Firefox OS. So we'll be watching those developments. What about yourself? Are you interested in everything.me? Would you use it as a launcher for yourself? Let us know in the commentary below. Give us a big thumbs up if you thought uh, this segment was, was interesting, and also subscribe to our channel to see our weekly uploads. And don't forget, check out our other channel, The Review Room. Thanks for joining us, and until next time.